better place. We have what it takes to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world a better place. We are smart at what we do to make our world Today we are discussing uh, ABO blood group system. ABO blood group system. From our form two biology, we know that there are four major blood group types. There is blood group A, blood group B, blood group AB, and blood group O. There are four major types of blood groups. A, B, A, B, and O. People with blood group A have antigen A. Those with blood group B have antigen B. Those people with blood group AB have antigen A and antigen B. Those with blood group O have no antigen. Therefore, blood group types are determined by the antigen present. Now, for someone to have antigen A, or presence of antigen A, is determined by gene A. Presence of antigen A in the body, or in the red blood cells, is determined by gene A. Presence of antigen B is determined by gene B. Gene B. And uh, presence of no antigen or presence of zero antigen or no antigen is determined by you call gene O. Therefore, those who don't have an antigen, they have a gene O that prevents formation of any antigen. So therefore, there are three major genes. Gene A, gene B, and gene O. Gene A causes presence of antigen A, Gene B causes presence of antigen B. Gene O leads to presence of no antigen. Now, gene A and gene B are co-dominant. Or they show incomplete dominance. Therefore, A and B have co-dominance. Gene O, gene O is recessive. Therefore, we have two, two dominant genes and one recessive gene. Therefore, when gene A and gene B are present, both are expressed. Therefore, the individual will have antigen A and antigen B. And those who have antigen A and antigen B end up becoming blood group AB. Therefore, those who have blood group AB have gene a and gene B. Because these two genes are co-dominant. When they are present, both antigens are produced. Therefore, uh, presence of, of blood AB or blood group system is controlled by three major genes. Gene A, gene B, gene O. This is known as a case of multiple alleles multiple alleles this is one of the few characteristics in human that is controlled by more than two genes we call it a case of 
multiple allele or multiple alleles. If I want to give a table, or I can give a table that shows blood group, antigen present, and genes present. We have a table that has uh, blood group, antigen present, genes present. Now those who have blood group A have antigen A, the gene present is this. Or let me use the word genotype. Their genotype will be AA. Uh, let me put here AA. But then remember, gene A is dominant over gene O. A person can have gene A and gene O present, and that person is still blood group A because gene O is a recessive gene. Whenever these two are present, the gene A is one that is expressed, therefore the person will end up having antigen A. B, we have antigen B present. Uh, the gene present are gene B, B, or B, O. Uh, when have blood group A, B, the antigen present is antigen a and antigen B, the gene present a gene A and gene B. When someone has blood group O, they have no antigen and the gene present is only gene O. The gene type is O O. Therefore, a person can have gene O and gene A, and they are blood group A. Uh, this, is a, this can be shown where, or this explains why, you can have two people who have blood group A, two individuals blood group A, a male, a female who have blood group A, but they end up having a child who is blood group O. You can have two men, two people, or a family with a male blood group A, a female also blood group A, but their child will have blood group O. The reason comes here, the genotype. Someone can have gene A and O and still be blood group A. Um, let me show that, you can show that easily. If an individual, if a female has blood group A, that is blood group A, and a male has blood group A. Now, when these two fuse, this gene, then that gamete, and that gamete can meet, and you have a child with blood group O. So it is possible for a individual blood group A to have a child with blood group O. I hope students have understood uh, a bio blood group system, which is a case of multiple alleles, where a gene or a characteristic is controlled by three major genes, A, B, and O. Hope you've enjoyed our lesson for today. We'll link up in our next.